Hey Dal, Steve Severs for Bonic Bows. We're here on another red carpet here at the LA Film Festival here in Culver City. We're here for world premiere of the Clove Hitch Killer. This movie stars Dylan McDermott and directed by Duncan Skiles. It's gonna be amazing red carpet. Let's go see who we can talk to. All right, man, before we get into the movie here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion from directing and filmmaking come from? Was it a certain movie or TV show that inspired you or did it kind of come naturally for you as a kid? My dad brought home a lot of uh, weird movies when I was a kid. And I think that uh, Evil Dead 2 would be among one of the yeah. things that really lit my fire. Uh, but then, I, when I was 13, my friend told me that we could uh, check out cameras from the cable access station. And once I started doing it myself, uh, uh, that really like oh, cool. locked me in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Well, let's talk about this movie. For those who don't know about it, please explain the story. And how'd you get this amazing cast? Clovefish Killer is about a 16-year-old boy scout who uh, suspects his father might be a serial killer. Mm -hmm. And how did I get this cast? <laughs> well, it took a long time. Um, CAA is responsible for a lot of the packaging of the cast. They, they uh, recommended Charlie. Uh, Dylan also came from CAA. Very cool, yeah, he's amazing, actually. Yeah, he is. Uh, so I, so I it, the, the process was uh, long, and um, I'm really appreciative of Dylan for, for wanting to do it. Is anyone in the cast actually a former Boy Scout like myself? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm an Eagle Scout. <laughs> I think our director of photography was a Boy Scout. Yeah. She, I don't remember. I'm certainly. I was a. I was a Weeblo. Weeblo, yeah. You used to wear something. <laughs> and um, the the last name of my Scout master while I was a Weeblo is in the film. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, that's a cool story. Yeah. So there's talk about remaking the RoboCop again. So are you going to make another fan-made RoboCop remake of a remake? <laughs> well, RoboCop is my favorite movie. Yeah. Um, but I think it's one of those movies that doesn't need to be remade because it's, I, I think the original Robo RoboCop is a perfect film. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I will not participate in the third remake of RoboCop. You would not buy that for a dollar. I would not buy that for a dollar. <laughs> All right. Pleasure, man. Me and you. Take yeah, care. I appreciate it.